part 9 of my DVD collection 2023 edition. So anyways, let's get continued. And yes, I'm going to do uh, two videos for two for this morning, so yeah. I had this DVD since 2017 because Aunt Carol got me got me DVDs there. So yeah, I have the 1967 version on VHS, which is the Masterpiece Collection, the sequel, and the 1994 version on VHS. So yeah. This DVD is a former rental from Video Flix in Orofino, which is in Idaho. This one, the first movies to be produced by Jer uh, Spyglass Entertainment. So, yeah. I used to have this movie on VHS, but I have this movie on DVD now. So, yeah. This is one of my favorite movies from 2006. And it's a former rental from Hollywood Video. Got Stevie D from Oregon during our vacation for three days back in. March of 2019. I want to go there. Go there soon. Or go back there soon. That's what I mean. But anyways, back to the video. Columbia Pictures movie co-produced by Warner Brothers. I used to have this DVD back in 2008. I remember watching this PG-13, my first PG-13 rated movie, right after The Pursuit of Happiness when I was a little kid, but I got this DVD from The Salvation Army back in 2018, late 2018, so yeah.
I heard that movie is one of the worst movies of 2021 because, but it has stars Bruce Willis and Megan Fox. So got DVD from Walmart in 2021. This one my favorite <clears throat> This one my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies of all time, so Yeah. This DVD still used the 2002 Paramount's 90th anniversary DVD, so yeah. This DVD still used the 2004 DVD, but it's a 2006 reprint, as you can see. I'm just sticking with the 2010 Cry Kid movie because I didn't like the 1984 and the sequels, in my opinion, so yeah. I have the first Are We There Yet movie on VHS. Now I have the DVD of the sequel. And this DVD is a full rental from Hastings. As you can see. There we go. It closed. I used to have that movie on VHS, but I have the DVD now, so yeah, since I'm no longer doing comparison videos. I heard it's one of the worst two Eddie Murphy movies from 2007, but... In my opinion, it's a guilty pleasure. Blockbuster dates, uh, May 31st, 2009. 
and this is the only DreamWorks movie to be dish to be co-produced by Nickelodeon Movies since since DreamWorks Live Action is now owned by Paramount now. So yeah. seen that movie before back in 2021 good movie in my opinion twenty thirteen war home video reprint but they're no longer distributing covered distributing by war home videos so yeah Oh yeah, plus also The Fighter is one of the one of my favorite movies from 2010, so yeah. I'm going to show you a few more DVDs after this. DVD This DVD is a full rental from Hastings. Two more after this DVD. And this is the 2004 version of the Step, Step 4's Wives. So yeah. Paramount Pictures movie co-produced by DreamWorks Pictures. Nana got this DVD for me back in 2019 when she moved to an apartment in Boise. Because Nana lives in this live in the house for 14 years since 2005, so yeah. And here's one more DVD for this part and then part 10. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite Universal movies of all time. And one of my all-time favorites, so... Yeah. Well, folks, there you have first video, so stay tuned for part 10. I think... <laughs>